Welcome back to H3 Weapon Deep Dive. Today we are looking at one, not one gun, but two guns, but not these guns. So this is going to answer the question, what if you took the top half of a Luger and the bottom half of a Glock 19 and stuck them together? What would you get then? Top half of a Luger and bottom half of a Glock 19, well, you'd get a Gluger. Okay, well, what if you took the top half of a G19 and the bottom half of a Luger. What would you get then? Well, you'd get a, you'd get a, a lock. And it would look like this. So we are looking at the Gluger and the lock today. <laughs> These are normal weapons in the game, but they are normally locked behind some sort of achievement you have to get in the game to have them show up in the spawner. However, I am weak and feeble, and I decided to just get a mod that unlocks it for me. So, here is that mod from uh, FTW Arms, which I believe is Andrew, and I will post a link to the mod in the description, but this will unlock all the guns for you and put them in a special spot in the spawner. In this case, these are at the end of Home Pistol Automatic. They are way at the end past the Webleys and the MP5 SDK Element OP over there, and you've got the Gluger and the Lock, and some other ones which I will also review, but for today, we're gonna be looking at these. They are both chambered in 9x19 Parabellum, Let's check them out. Let's look at the controls. We're going to start with the Gluger. So the way these work is the controls are the identical controls of the bottom half of the gun. So this has Glock controls. So what does that mean? Well, down on the trackpad, we'll eject the magazine. And there's our toggle lock on the top. Uh, up on the trackpad, we'll change between safe and semi. That is safe with the word exposed like that. That is fire. The old toggle lock there will lock open on empty. You can release the slide or toggle or whatever that is by pressing to the left and down on the trackpad, like so, no problem. You can, of course, always just grab it and let it go. You can also lock the uh, toggle lock open by pressing left and up on the trackpad with it in the back position, like so, and it will lock open. There is no hammer decock on this, so pressing to the right and up or down won't do anything. So that's all the controls on the Gluger. Let's move on to the lock. The lock actually has the same little indicator there. So we've got safe and semi, or safe and fire. There you go. It will lock open on empty down in the trackpad. We'll eject the Luger magazines here. There we go, new magazine, but it does not have a slide release, so pressing to the left and up or down won't do anything on this. It also does not have a hammer cock or decock, so pressing to the right and up or down won't do anything either. So we've got our safety with up on the trackpad, we've got the mag release with down on the trackpad, and that is all you get as far as controls on the lock. Let's see what attachments will fit on the gl uh, Gluger. <laughs> Oh <laughs> boy. Do we have rails? No, we do not have rails on the top, but it looks like we got a rail on the bottom. Hey, hey, ever want a Luger with a rail? Sort of. There you go. Gimme, give gimme. Give okay, fine. You can just stay there. All right, let's check the muzzle brake. Yep, muzzle brake will go. Let's see about our suppressor. Suppressor will go. That looks lovely. How about our barrel extension? Yep, barrel extension works just fine. And the rail adapter also goes. Foregrip, well, yeah, I, well, <laughs> you can put a foregrip. There we go. You can put a foregrip on that bottom rail. Yeah, there it goes. Put a foregrip on the bottom rail. Now you got a proper foregrip on it. How about a stock? Yeah, you can even put a Luger stock on it. Why not? Uh, what else do we got? Oh, yes, battle spatula. Ah, the all-important battle spatula will go on there. I know I kind of forgot to put the battle spatula on the last couple of my videos. Sorry about that. But you already had a 15-minute battle spatula video, so <laughs> I think you had enough battle spatula for a while. Let's move on to the lock. Let's see what attachments will fit on this thing now. Where is my red dot? Here we go. Okay, so no top rail. And unfortunately, looks like, yeah, we don't have a bottom rail either. 
So that's a bummer. Muzzle brake. Muzzle brake will go. Okay, that's good. How about our suppressor? Yep, suppressor will go. Barrel extension, of course, and the rail adapter so you can get rails on it that way. How about our foregrip? No foregrip. Okay, how about our Luger stock? Yes, that looks nice. That looks very nice. Uh, and all important battle spatula. Yep. Battle spatula will go, so you can still get melee out of this. Let's look at the sights. All right, well, this is the Gluger, and it looks like we have Luger sights, don't we? Let's see here. Yep, yep, yep. We just got Luger sights. So, what do we got? Big front post and really tiny rear notch. Yeah, well, tiny rear, not rear notch here. Let's see if we can line them up. Let's see if we can line up these sights. There we go. So not too good, but they will work as good as any Luger sights will. Let's move on, move on to the sights on the lock. And yes, these are regular Glock 19 green dot sights. Much better than those Luger sights, but uh, we got the short Luger mags on here. So let's do a recoil test. We are going to try 17 round mags in the Luger and regular eight round mags uh, in the lock. Uh, here we go. Nice, nice, nice. Good first shot. Almost a 9. 8.94. Looking pretty good. All right, basically a 9 to beat. Let's see what we can do with the lock. Do, 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 do. 9.5. Well, we only get eight rounds to choose from, but it looks like we're doing really well with this. Let's try the Gluger with the muzzle brake. Not too shabby. Lots of tens. 9.41. So it did improve a fair bit, but it is still quite jumpy. It's not magic. All right, 9.41 to beat. Let's try the lock. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 962, so pretty similar. Onto the suppressor for the Gluger. Not too shabby. 929, so a little better than nothing. Not as good as the muzzle brake, so pretty consistent there. Try the lock with the suppressor. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 925. Almost identical. Let's try the Gluger with the stock. Hmm. Pretty jumpy on that one. Nine even. So about the same as without the stock. I'm kind of surprised there. Let's try the lock with the stock. Ready to rock? Ooh, 962. Yeah, a bit of, bit of an improvement there and kind of getting close to perfect. Stock and muzzle brake on the Gluger. Definitely got some strays in there. 933, three. still good result. But yeah, you can see there's a couple getting kicked up there. The lock with the stock and the muzzle brake. Finally, 925. Now, as you can notice, I was shooting very low. Yeah, there's a bug in H3 that kind of crops up from time to time. It seems to be with the muzzle brakes in particular, where it completely ruins the point of aim. Sometimes high, sometimes low, it depends on the gun. But uh, yeah, it's cropped up in this lock here, so I had to do about 20 times. Uh, trying to hit a 10 while pointing much like this. So we got it, but uh, got a 925, so about what we would expect for the lock and the muzzle brake. Stock and suppressor with the Gluger. Okay, 918 with the suppressor and the stock. So still not doing a whole lot better than with nothing at all. Finally, the lock with the stock and the suppressor. Hey, ooh, pretty good result there. 9.5. Well, there you have it. The Gluger and the lock, both with drum magazines, both in 9x19. 
both with a basically identical recoil characteristics. Uh, given the choice between the two, I would take the Gluger because it's got a rail on the bottom, but the uh, lock does have better sights, but the magazines aren't as good. Uh, pretty similar. Till next time, I will see you.